put my love out on the line Never said yes to the right guy Never had trouble getting what I want But when it comes to you, I'm never good enough When I Hey guys, welcome to a new tutorial with me, Lina Yes Editions. So, today's video is for the first assignment of Team Heart Attack, which is Care Hearte's team. And this is the first assignment, which is to show you about, um, as a minimum, three tricks on your computer. So, as you can see, my computer is now basic. We, I have the Windows um, background. Um, these folders shouldn't have been like this, but I'm going to show you how to change them. Okay, so I have this note ready. Okay, so first thing, the wallpaper. Now, you should have the wallpaper. If you don't know how to get one so just go to what is my screen resolution so it gives you the for example mine is this then you go to google for example nature wallpapers and my screen resolution so you find a bunch of stuff you just download it for example no yeah you just download it i have plenty so i don't think i need to download any so this one is kind of nice i like nature I have a full pack of nature stuff, nature wallpapers. So um, it's stuck. Anyway, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the folder where you saved it. I already have mine from before. So here, example, this one. No, this one. So you right click and set as desktop background. And so here it is. So here's the wallpaper. Oops, that's fine. Okay. So I'll include this link in the description if you want to see what your uh, screen resolution is. Okay, so first part is done, the wallpaper. Oh, by the way, there's another way, which is um, right-click, personalize, here, the last uh, thing. And you go to the themes. Go to the desktop background here, say, this, um, you know what I mean. And you browse. And you find your wallpaper, for example. I already have mine here, thank God. And so just save changes. By the way, you can... Um, you can make more than one, for example, let me show you, for example, here, this, um, so you hold, uh, control, and put it on shuffle, for example, let's say 10 seconds for you to see, so here I saved the changes, so now it's this cup, it's kind of blurry, it's not high quality or anything, but, yeah, so here it changes, so it just keeps changing, um, and you can put as many pictures as you want, uh, wallpapers as you want, you can put all your, all the wallpapers you have, it's up to you. So I'm just going to keep it on this one. So, wallpaper is done. Second is folder icons. I'm pretty sure you noticed that my folder icons are not usual. Especially these um, folders. So, what you're going to do is, first you're going to have, you need the icons. So, I'll probably make a pack this week. Not sure when if uh, it will be ready when I post this video, but it's going to be this week, I'm sure. So, you right click, properties, customize, change icon, and it's loading. Browse, and as you can see, I have a folder. These are not all, so you just gotta find stuff that match with your background. So, for example, now let me have some flowers. Apply, and okay. Oops, now I have to do the same. So I'm just gonna change all of them, and I'll be back to continue. Oh my god, I still have to do the same. Okay, so I didn't change these ones because they look good with the. Uh, wallpaper so why I change them so this one is done too now the hyperlink color now if you're wondering what the hyperlink color is it's this when you want to select something it's this um, color for example now it's blue and it's perfectly fine but I'm gonna show you how to change it so you go to personalize and you go to window color now um, something wrong happened to my computer so this comes up um, at once but if your computer has no problem there should be like um, something for you to change the color of the toolbar this toolbar so yeah you can change that I can't now because my computer is dumb so yeah and then there will be like change advanced settings something yeah so then you click it and this will come up so I hope you understood so you click here hyperlink and you change the color so it can be anything you want apply and okay so here it's not bad actually I'm just gonna make it a little bit um, darker so okay so here yeah this looks good so this is for the hyperlink now the mouse my mouse is now basic it's the X precursor IP yeah I know so to change it you need um, mouse packs 
not sure what they what they're called. But for example, go here and like cursor back. So all these stuff will come up. And these, I, I usually download these because you have one for each uh, thingy. And actually, I like this one, so I'm gonna download it. So to change that, uh, after you download it, you gotta. Uh, oh god, I forgot. All right, you go to downloads and you extract. Of course, obviously. I have a bad memory of words, can't we? So to change it, you go to you right click. I go to personalize and then I click all control panel items or you can go to your desktop control panel and then go to personalization and you go to mouse. I find this much easier. Then you go to pointers. Now as you can see this is the basic. Now I already have some presets. This, the pink oxy, Eiffel Tower, Canopy, yeah the frog, and a violet oxy and a mustache. So now I'm gonna find a violet one if I have. So just double click it, and you go to the folder where you have all this stuff, where's, oh, here, cursor, um, there should be a preview of some kind, there are pretty awesome um, cursors out there, so you just gotta look, it's all pink, I hate pink, so I'm gonna try this one. So the normal select, um, yeah, by the way, usually uh, cursor packs are in Spanish. Not sure why, but maybe too many Spaniards like to make cursor packs. So yeah, so first the normal thing is normal, obviously. The help select is Ayuda. So slow. Working in background is... Working in background is... Oh my god. Um, I'm thinking this because it's too long. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. So, busy. Busy is the uh, ocupado. Uh, precision is. Precision. Um, text is texto, I think. Yep, texto. I'm sorry, guys, my computer is being so slow. Handwriting is escritura a mano. Yep, I think I got it right. Unavailable is. Um, no disponible. Uh, vertical resize is called vertical, I think. Yep, there it is. The horizontal one. So, yeah, this is like the basic. I mean, all of them are like this. Now, these ones. Oh god, I did something bad. Oh my god, oh my god. This is all because it's too slow. So, I just made two the diagonal resize one and two and the move. They were all called the same thing. Now, the alternate select is alternative. And the link select is link select link. Yep. So, what I usually do is I save this as a preset. So, for example, um, save um, transparent part. Okay. And you click apply and okay. So, here is our animator. Uh, for example, if you want to click, no way. You want to type, there it changes. So, yep, that's really nice. Now, so this is for the mouse. Now, the toolbar magic, which is kind of funny. So, if you right click and you unlock the toolbar, I'm sure you know that you can move it to any side you want. I usually put it, I keep it here because it annoys me when it's here. I always mix it up, and when it's here, it just irks me. So, I'm gonna lock it. Now you go to properties. So, you can use small icons, apply. So now they are suddenly all small. And what I like to do is auto hide. I once freaked, like my teacher freaked out when she saw this. So, yep, you have no toolbar. And that's pretty nice if there's anyone at home who doesn't know how to use a computer. So you just, oh, there's no toolbar, you can't do anything. And when you hover uh, over it, it comes back. So I'm just gonna get back my big icons because I can't see. So this is the toolbar magic. I'm not sure if it's really magic, but yeah. So now um, I'm done on things on uh, the desktop. Um, so yeah, we're done with the desktop. Desktop. So now it's uh, Photoshop time since I don't know any more tricks. So you're gonna go to your Photoshop. Just open any picture. I have this one of my country. Yep, this is the old city and this is our flag and my country is Palestine, if you wonder. So, you, we're, um, I believe I showed this in previous tutorials, but 
but yeah, whatever. So just right click, select custom color, um, pick anything you want. Actually, I'm gonna keep it as blue. I'm gonna make it lighter. No. So I'm thinking this is nice. Yep, it is nice. So um, this is basically it. You you just um, you just pick any color you want. Yep. Right. So now if I want to use a text, look at the fonts. You don't have um, a preview, so you don't know how they look like. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click Control K, and this the preferences comes up. So you are gonna go to type, and you're gonna click in the this thing. The font preview size, and you can pick anything you want. I usually pick large because extra large is too much and huge is humongous. So, so now you can have a preview, and it's really short. And you, I mean, you can see that even if you're blind. So, you can try the extra large one and the huge one. Yeah, it's up to you. So this is pretty much all of it. Uh, as I promised, I might, uh, I will make an icons pack and. Maybe a cursor stack, not sure if I got time, I will, if not, then you're gonna have to search your own on DeviantArt, uh, or in packs, you can download uh, YouTubers packs. So yeah, this is all for, for this tutorial, I hope this helped, uh, please thumbs up this video if it helped, and if you enjoyed this video tutorial, yeah, so thank you for watching, and see you next time, bye!